Hi, my name is Andreas and I'm gonna teach you how to use the pink foot call. In this storm I'm using the pink foot hammer. When there's a pink foot call like this, I don't blow into the call. If you blow, blow into the call, you're gonna make a sound that sounds like this. And that's wrong. If you cough into the call and make a sound like this, then you'll make a sound that sounds like this. If I do it from the other side, it sounds like this. And that's the basic of the high pitch sound. When you do the low, low pitch sound, it's gonna sound like this. It's more like you're rinsing your throat into the call. From this side, and from this side, that's the basic sound. Uh, that you make with the call without using the hands. When you use your hands, which is very important on this pink foot call, you hold the call between your index finger and your thumb. And it's important to have the other fingers free to close up the air stream through the flute. So when you're gonna make the high pitch sound, what you do is you start with an open hand and then you slowly close it, like this. It might be easier to use both hands and eventually you're going to be use both hands anyway. Some of you might have problem with closing up the airstream and if you do, just don't think about it. Just play around a little bit with it. Find your own way to do it. It's just important that in some way that you close up the airstream to the flute to make the high pitched sound. It's a little different than, for example, a grey leg call when you close it up, you get deeper uh, sounds, but in this call you actually get a higher pitch, like this. So when you do the high pitch now sounds, you start off with an open hand and then you close it, but of course much faster, so it's going to sound like this. It's a little hard to get the timing in the beginning, but if you just practice you'll get it after a while. That was the high pitch sound. Remember, cough into the call and close up your hands like this. Now we're gonna do like a mid tone. And what you do is you cough the same way into the call, but you don't close up your hands. You have them a little open all the time. So it's gonna sound like this. You can hear the difference. You have and Then you have the even deeper tones where you kind of rinse your throat into the call like this. <coughs> and it sounds like this without hands. And what you do is you close it a little bit up and you, you kind of play around with it. Try to find something that sounds good. So that three combined, you have the high one, the middle layer, and the deep one. So when you listen to a flock of pink foots, you'll hear they have a lot of different sounds. When you're hunting, you can never get exactly the same sound. Then you have to have 50 hunters out calling. So just get the basics right. Get the high ones, get the middle ones and the low ones and just play around with it. If you just take your call to a hunt and play around with it, you'll definitely get keys in. So let's pretend we're in a hunting situation. We see them far out, we see the geese passing and we want their attention. Then we start with a really high sound just to get their attention, like this. And then, when you get their attention, they get closer, you tune down the calling a little bit. And then they, when they're real close, you even go 
further down. But remember, when you're calling, you don't need to sound exactly like this. Just play around with it. Take it to a hunt, play around, and see how they react to your calling. You might see that there's a lot of different calls on the market. I prefer plastic calls instead of wooden calls. The reason for that is that you get a lot more variation in sound and you can get much further out with this call or a plastic call instead of a wooden call. It might be easier to blow in them but you don't get the same sounds and you'll never get as far out as this one. So when you're out there you might hear that the pink wood makes a lot of noise like we said earlier but remember don't get tempted to over call. Keep your calling a little bit down. You're not su supposed to sound like a flock of thousand geese. So don't over call. And remember, if, you, if this doesn't work for you, don't give up. Just try something different. Just practice and take the call to a hunt. Try it out, find your way. And when it, when it works, you'll feel it. It works. So good luck out there.